We're starting a new segment here at RSTV where professionals give you real tips. Tonight on our Real Estate Minute, Adam Catron is showing us a house that's for sale right here in Indy and tips you need to look for when you're buying a house. There's three bedrooms, one and a half baths. Okay. Um, all three bedrooms are on the second floor. On the main floor here, we've got a spacious living room with a formal dining room off the kitchen. Um, there's also a, a really great deck in the backyard for entertaining and uh, it's only $159.9. All right, so this house would be great for either family or for you know a perfect newlywed couple. So you found the perfect house, and now what's step two? Well, I think the first step, and I always recommend to buyers, is get pre-approved as soon as possible. That way you have a good idea of what you ac actually can afford. Um, sometimes it's hard to walk into a home if you don't actually know exactly what you're going to be able to afford and kind of look at the house and know that this is going to be yours when you put in an offer. Right, and you don't fall in love with something and get your hopes up exactly. and then you're like, ah, it's a little out of my budget. Okay, so you get pre-approved, you get the budget and you say, okay, I can afford this house. So uh, who do you call to inspect the roof or inspect the foundation or those little hidden things that could end up costing homeowners more money down the, yeah. down the road? Yeah, I mean, I always suggest that you get a home inspection. Uh, it's great to find out exactly what's going on with the home before you get into it. Um, I think really the, the first thing to think about is the interest rates and what kind of product you're going to go with as far as mortgage or buying with cash. Interest rates are so low that the affordability of houses has not been this great in a long time. And I think what also that means for buyers is it's much more competitive. So when you're looking to put in an offer on a home to find out whether or not have your agent dig in and see if there's an offer in on the home. Okay. Um, because you get into multiple offer situations. You end up, you have to put in your best offer right off the bat and you don't really have a chance to negotiate. Say you're stuck in a multiple offer situation. What's your advice? Well, that's happening more and more these days with it becoming more of a seller's market um, and with the decreasing inventory that's out there. If you can get an offer in before they've accepted another offer, the one recommendation I would suggest for the buyers out there is that come prepared with your strongest offer right off the bat. You're not going to have a chance to negotiate. So if you come in looking the best, you have the best, strongest offer, you're going to have a better chance of getting into that home. Perfect. Well, we've seen a lot, and this house is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we've learned a lot about home buying tips and home selling tips. But if you did miss a little bit or you'd like to learn a little bit more, you can either give Adam a call or hop online to find out more information. Thanks so much for Thank having you. us. I appreciate it.